are here with our special guest. I want to say like our first celebrity, Martin Reese. I don't want to say celebrity. I'm, I'm just a guy who drinks water. <laughs> yes. A, a world, yes. world renowned celebrity at this point, I think. Oh. The Dude. only certified water sommelier in the United States. Cheers. Yes. Good to be and here. You have been in, on Conan. I actually heard from, uh, I saw you first on uh, your mom's house with Tom Segura and Christina. Oh yeah, that was fun. That was the first time I saw you. I was like, what, what is this? And then I'm like, I couldn't <laughs> stop listening. So I'm like, I love this guy. And then tons of shows like Good Morning America, uh, BuzzFeed. You've been, I, I saw you were going viral on BuzzFeed, which is pretty cool. Um, Good Morning America, The Today Show, and tons and tons of print, GQ. I don't know, man. You know better than that. Tons and tons and tons. Go to, yeah, go hundreds. To it's website. almost scary for me these days. It's a good thing, though. I mean, think about it. You just you just went from, uh, well, I went, just like a normal person. You're blown up in the media. You're going viral pretty much. <laughs> I mean, you're introducing a whole new generation of people about and educating them on water. You know, yeah, like, that's the whole I, point, I think. Yeah, which is like it's so super interesting. It's like I said, the first time I heard you talk, I was in pain. I was working, and I had you guys in the background. And you started talking. I'm like, oh, what is this? And then you started talking. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then I was totally obsessed after that, man. Mm -hmm. I even brought. Uh, I, I, I decided to keep it simple today. So I'm doing some Lacro today on a wine. Ooh, wine. My heart. <laughs> Daryl Steiner here. So, Gerald Steiner, good water. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Let's start there, and then uh, we'll take it from there. A uh, little bio. How, how did you get started? How did you get into the whole water, sommelier, you know, water obsession? I guess about passion. Yeah, yeah. That's your passion, obviously. So it, so, it actually started already when I was a small little child. I was like around four or five years old, and I realized on vacation time with my parents that water had taste that in every single city in Europe that the tap water tasted differently to me. And I was blown away from that fact. And my parents were always wondering what's wrong with our son. Why is he like running to the tap in the first time we went to the new city? But for me, it was not about I'm thirsty. I was like eager to taste the different water. So and then in 2005, a customer came up to me in Germany in a restaurant and said, hey, Martin, you have over a thousand different wines and you have I don't know how many beers, but you're just serving one brand of water. And I don't like the particular taste of that particular brand. Do you have something else for me? And then I reminded myself of my childhood. And I said, you know what? He's up to the right. Water has taste. And in the restaurant business, it's all about options. And therefore, we have a wine menu. You have a beer. You have different beers on tap. You have different liquors on the menu. But when it comes to water, our most important beverage on this life, uh, nobody cares. And nobody asks you, like, OK, which one do you care for? And when you're here, especially in Los Angeles right now, the regular server will ask you, okay, do you want sparkling flood or tap water? What do you want? Or most of the time, they even put in your tap water right away in your glass. And I thought, you know what? I want to change that. I want to create a water menu. And I did this in 2005 already. So it was not an invention what I had here in Los Angeles, what a lot of people are always thinking, oh, a water somebody can just be in Hollywood, can just be an LA thing. It actually started in Germany in 2005. I wrote a book about water in 2008. Then I became a certified water sommelier from the German Water Trade Association in 2010. And I wanted to come to the States because I was on vacation in 2010 and I really liked the States. And I already had a sponsor for the company, like the Patina Restaurant Group I'm working for. It's, it's owned by a German guy, actually. And he said, okay, Martin, I would love to have you, but the problematic is like get a visa. A visa is very hard to get. And I was a very bad student. I have to, that's my very little secret. <laughs> I was the worst student ever. Um, I really didn't like school. So I just did my high school diploma and then I went to work in the restaurant business. And the lawyer said, okay, you need to have at least a college degree or something like this to apply for a next visa. And I said like, yeah, I'm not going back to school because that's not my thing. Right. But then he said, wait a minute, all this thing, what you're doing with water in Europe, that might be your door opener. And there's a visa, it's called the O1 visa for extraordinary abilities. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very hard to get. So when you're like a, when you're like a scientist, it would be nice when you have been like nominated for the Nobel Prize. When you are like an actor, uh, you better win an Oscar or an Emmy. 
that's like the regulation for the O1. When you're doing this, that means you're the top of your field, then you can get an O1 visa. Right. I received an O1 visa because I can drink water. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> now, did, Made a living out of it. Right, yep. but now, did the whole sommelier thing, is that official in Europe too, or yes. is it just here in the States? I am not the only one. There are hundreds of water sommeliers around the world, and there are different schools. You have two schools in Germany, then you have a school in Italy, you have a school in China, and a school in South Korea, where you can become a water sommelier. And I'm working very close together with Michael Mascher from the Fine Water Society. And we will start an online program for the United States and for the world as well, that everybody can become a water sommelier when they're interested in to do it. That's amazing, man. Congratulations on that. That, that, that is so cool. Like, like I said, like somebody to me just opened up a whole new world. Like, I mean, I'm in my late 30s now. I hate to say that. But, you know, my 20s were fueled with booze and alcohol and, and soda. Yeah, and Trust me. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I used to drink a lot like I still drink but not like I used to and you know I would drink water just because I had to and I still it's like you know I work out now and eat healthy and all that stuff and it's like I have to force myself to drink water because you know it's like before I really started getting into it after listening to you it's like there's no taste so I would just buy whatever bottle water we'll find in the store and I'm just like chug it it's like whatever it's just yeah. water or yeah. if I go to a restaurant we'll order like a Pellegrino or something like that every once in a while but that's about it yeah, so then, like you mentioned, a lot of people don't think it has any taste. And I tell those people, you're not drinking the right water. Correct. So, or they don't drink enough water. Exactly. What would you tell consumers to look for in a good water? Okay, the most important thing is look at the labels on the bottled water. And there's two big differences when it comes here in the States. On the one side, you will see purified water. I don't even have any purified water in my house. <laughs> so you see behind me, there's my little water closet, what I'm calling it. <laughs> They're all different waters. I have at least 40 different mineral waters here at my place because I like to taste all the time differences. And the funny thing is that a lot of people are sending me now waters from all around the world every day. So I'm getting every day almost a package now with a different water. And my landlord always says, like, what's wrong over there? Huh? <laughs> like, selling water? Is this like a grocery store up there? No, I'm just interested in water. That's awesome. But look at the labels. And when you see purified water, that means actually it's nothing else than a highly processed tap water. That's all what it is. Purified water is nothing else than municipal sourced water. They're filtering everything out of there. Then they're adding back some very small amount of minerals. Like we talk about this amount, like very, very limited amounts of minerals. And then they're selling it for a high price. In my opinion, the biggest scam on planet Earth. Because when I'm already drinking tap water, why should I pay it for it in a grocery store? That's crazy. Exactly. Right. On the other hand, you have natural occurring spring waters, glacier waters, iceberg waters. So it comes from a natural occurring source. That means it's rainwater at one point, drips down in the different layers around the world, and the different layers have different minerality with them. By wine, you would say terra. That's a wine word. That you can actually taste the wine, like the origin of the wine where it's coming from. By water, it's exactly the same. Because this water drips down in the different layers and takes the minerality with them, then the pumping up the water, or actually it comes from a Tesian spring, that means it rises by themselves up from the ground, and they're bottling it. That means that water comes from Mother Nature. It's unprocessed food, in my opinion. Purified water is processed food, and spring waters are non-processed food. That's very simple. So for me, as a water sommelier who loves water and loves to detect the differences in water, I was just drinking spring waters. I'm not touching any purified waters whatsoever. Now, let me ask you something. When we're talking about spring waters, you know, when you read, when you read on the label spring water, it comes yeah. from a natural source. Yes, But, correct. you know, we have this, uh, you know, when you, when you go, uh, what do you call it, out in the jungle and you find a spring, they tell you not to drink it because it can make you sick. I so will do is, this being, is this being boiled somehow or purified somehow? Before yeah, it's kind of interesting. Out? So there's two big differences between the United States and especially Europe. And maybe you just saw, because for the last two weeks, everybody is talking about raw water. Hmm. This, uh, I did see York, that. I did see that on my feed. Yes. You're, yeah, yeah you're New right. York Times read a big article about raw water, that there's a movement in San Francisco, that people going to springs, and they're like just like literally bottling these spring waters and selling it. Or for like 60 bucks. It. So they have no clue what's in there. Obviously, that is completely dangerous, and this is nuts. I would never do that. I would never, I would never do that. 
If on the got other hand, infection. Correct, correct. There can be E. coli bacteria. There can be everything in there because let's face it, we're living in an industrial city here in Los Angeles. I would not go to the Los Angeles River and drink that water. <laughs> no. No. Uh, back to the roots is nice, but I want to survive here in Los Angeles. But spring water means, and by there's different regulations. So, for example, here in the United States, when it's called spring water, most of the times it's UV light they're adding on that they're killing all bacteria what might be in there. Doesn't mean it needs to be in there, but it might be in there. So they're killing with UV light. So they're doing something like very slightly treatments, but they don't want to change anything on the reality compositions because that is what the taste makes out the water. Okay. Um, in Europe, there are different laws. There are way stricter laws when it comes to bottled water. And one law is saying when it's a natural cooling spring water, that means, for example, what you have in the background, the Gerald Steiner, mm -hmm. when you look at the label, it says natural mineral water. Yes, and it's got not allowed... magnesium, Correct. calcium, bicarbonate, everything in here. So that bottle, what you can find at Trader Joe's for $1.49, and for the people who are saying, oh, raw water is the craziest thing, you should never do raw water, and this is completely unsafe, that bottle is nothing else than raw water. Okay. So that comes 100% from nature. And when it says natural occurring mineral water in Germany, by law required, they cannot do anything to these waters. They are not allowed to put UV light on it. When they're putting UV light on it, it has to be labeled on the bottle. Okay. Here in America, it's exactly the other way around. So it's so funny that kind of America is so disconnected when it comes to water, because in my belief, and I think that's the whole point, water should come from nature. That's the reason why we're eating food now these days, where we know, okay, we should go to the farmer's market, and not going to the fast food chain Our when you want to have a healthy when you want to have a healthy diet it's right. the same with water when you want to have a healthy diet i would always go for spring waters because they're actually minerals in there what your body needs like magnesium calcium sodium potassium all these kind of minerals on the other than purified water very low mineral content and i know some companies especially the purified water companies always saying yeah, but electrolytes added and they're putting it on the bottom. Mm -hmm. and everybody's like, yeah, that's so cool. They're, they're adding electrolytes. LA tap water yeah. has, has 10 times more electrolytes than all other purified <laughs> water. I would have never guessed. Nothing. Are you serious? Yes. See, that's the thing. So this is know. all marketing. Then yeah. this whole thing, alkalinity, another whole marketing people gimmick. Like me. Uh, Everybody's like, like going <laughs> nuts about alkalinity and like, oh, it's so important, alkaline water, this is the best thing and it can cure everything from you. Completely nonsense. Yeah, I I've mean, got perfect. one here. It's yeah. 9.5 pH alkaline neo water. I was going to ask you about that. So um, what is your take on the what is this on the What is this on the bottle? Because I'm not familiar with that brand. It's it uh, 9.5 pH. Let's see if I can get. Is it saying purified water? It is. Let's see. Purified water, electrolytes oh. for taste. Yeah, yeah. Electrolytes for taste is a very good point because the electrolyte level will be, again, like very, very small. By regulation, they will say electrolytes for taste because when they will say electrolytes for minerals or for your intake, they can get in trouble right away because there's barely anything in there. That's highly processed beverage again. Well, you so, and then the pH, about... then the whole pH thing, it's a very really funny thing. It's so trendy right now. It's very trendy. I can debug this trend right away. <laughs> so Go for people it. who don't know what alkaline means, that means 7, 7.5 means it's a neutral water. It's a base. And then everything higher than 7.5 means alkaline. And below 7.5, it's acidic, what people say. So the whole idea about alkaline water, the advocates for alkaline, they're saying... Okay, when you drink a lot of alkaline water, you can balance out your acidic levels of your body. Every doctor will tell you, when you can do that, you're going to die. <laughs> because there are so many different acidic levels in your body happening. For example, your stomach fluid is very acidic. Mm -hmm. It needs to be very acidic because you have to break down food to get the nutrition. So now think, what's happening with the water when you're drinking it? You're putting it to your mouth. Here we go. Where is it going? Right in your stomach. You've got a Here base. Here we go. And do, know what it will, and do know what it will turn? Right away acidic. Yeah. It doesn't matter how high the pH is. So, wow. this, whole idea, so this whole idea of alkaline is completely nuts. That's crazy. Completely nuts. And talk, you want to talk about marketing. I mean, most people don't even realize this. It, I mean, it doesn't take rocket science if you just look at the label. But for example, look at vitamin water. That's all sugar. 
I have no clue. I have no clue why vitamin water is even allowed to call themselves water because it's owned by Coca Cola. It's nothing else than a soda pop. Yeah, when is. vitamin water is a water, 120 calories per can, then a Coke is a water too. Yes. Yeah. Sugar. I mean, it's got nutritional facts on there that are not good for you. Yeah, it's it's completely nuts. And I have to say as well, the nutrition labels are completely doesn't make sense as well by water because water should be always zero on fat and zero on sugar. Yeah. When you look at the label from vitamin water, it's scary what's in there, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's it is. like wow. And a lot of people don't realize this. In the German law, that would not fly. You cannot allow to to use a label big water on the label when it's actually a soda. Yeah, well, I wish we. It's very lax when it comes to regulations like that. Yeah. Kind yeah, of it's so lobbyist, you know, they, they kind of like make it rain there to make it pass. I know, you know but... it's very scary. We just I, we just taped a podcast because I have my own podcast. It's called the Planet Water, the H2O podcast. And we just taped in a movie theater podcast, and I'm just cutting it today, um, about Flint, Michigan, about the oh. tap water qualities in the States and what happened there with the leak problem. And then in West Virginia in 2014, that 300,000 people did not have access to clean water because there was a huge spillage into the water. And the craziest thing about this documentary is called What Lies Upstream. It's an incredible political documentary. Yes, I caught the trailer. It looks amazing. Is yeah. it on Netflix? What is it on? It's it's on iTunes now. You can download okay. it on iTunes. It's it very, out. very scary because the thing is um, that you think what happened in West Virginia, okay, this is a problematic what maybe happened because there was a spillage. Then you suddenly realize, okay, there was a spillage, but the government was still safe, saying, no, it's safe to drink. The relations are all fine. It meets all inquiries. The water is fine to drink. And then suddenly everybody was like smelling at their glass, at their tap water. It's like, I smell something. There's something off. It wow. cannot be okay when this water smells so drastically. Yeah, so they found, a, they found a chemical what's not been tested. They don't test that particular chemical in the safe water bill. Oh. So the safe water bill, the regulations are saying, okay, we have to test for 76 chemicals, but there could be actually over 4,000 different chemicals in tap water in the United States these days. Jeez. But they're wow. not even looking for this because they're just checking the, six, say the 76 chemicals. So this whole idea of, of tap water is very scary. And this, this you should really watch this because it's very scary. And then you're realizing that the whole regulations about tap water in the United States is completely messed up. Yeah, I mean, up. from things added to it, al uh, aluminum, fluoride, we've got, you know, their prescription pills, they've tested, um, they found birth control and antidepressants, um, all kinds of scary chemicals in yes. drinking water. So I understand for people, obviously, not everybody can be so fortunate to drink all the time spring water because this can get a lot of money. So I highly recommend, please, guys, do not drink your tap water just out of the tap. Please use a filtration system. Do you have a favorite filtration system? I have system? a filtration system here at home. I don't want to say any brand names because it really depends what your budget is saying and what you want to do for yourself. Okay. But I would highly recommend a filtration system for daily use. For me, as a person who, who loves the taste of water, I'm using my filtration system just for my shower and toothbrushes and all this kind of things. But I just drink bottled water. I don't touch any tap water in the United States. What oh, is your man. favorite bottled water? I have a lot of favorites. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into the fun stuff. The same, it's the same when you would say, uh, what's your favorite wine? Okay. Like, oh, no, I got many. Yeah, like sometimes, yeah. a wine, sometimes a Riesling. What's your favorite liquor, Christian? It's like, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, oh, I yeah, love yeah, vodka, I, mean... I love gin, I love this and this cocktail. It's the same with water. It really depends what I want to do. Now, let me ask you something, and, I, and I'm assuming it's just as hard, but I watched this documentary on Netflix a long time ago about becoming a sommelier. I can't remember the name on the top of my head because it's been a long, long time mm. since I watched it. Into the Bottle, maybe, or Somme is the name. Somme, Somme, that was it. Yeah. Not Into the Bottle. And uh, I was just amazed. Like, these guys, you know, they can name where it came from, what yeah. vine, what grape, where from. I mean, is it that? I mean, I'm assuming it's hard, obviously. But how, what is that process like? How, how does, how, I mean, how, did, how do you work towards that? It, it, how, where do you even start? Where does it take you? 
Yeah, yeah. I, I believe, find that super interesting. Yeah, yeah, I believe that everybody can taste the differences in water um, because you should just buy different waters in the grocery store. And again, when I'm saying water, I mean natural cooling waters. We don't talk about this purified water crap. Um, <laughs> buy several waters from the grocery store, put them side by side, pour them in different glasses, and then drink them side by side. And suddenly we realize that a Fiji water tastes completely different than a Gerolsteiner. Yeah. It's quite amazing. And you can measure the mineral content. It's called TDS, and it stands for total dissolved solids. That means how many mineral tracks you combine in a water. For example, Fiji, TDS of 222. Gerolsteiner, on the other hand, TDS of 2,500. It's one of the highest. Yes, when you think about the two numbers, 222 versus 2,500, obviously there needs to be a difference in taste as well when the number is so crazy off. And trust me, it is. Yeah. Fiji, on the one hand, is a very smooth water, very clean on your palate, versus Gerald Steiner is a little bit on the saltier side. What I like, it's like, it really depends what you want to do. For example, when you're eating a steak, when like barbecuing, Fiji, I think, is not the right water because it's too smooth, it falls down right away. It's, it's not really a good water for barbecuing. I love Gerald Steiner at that moment because it cuts through the richness of your steak and it will relieve actually the fattiness of your steak a little bit better and it can match up the umami taste of your steak. Okay. On the other hand, Fiji, when you have like acidic salad, a lot of vinegar or something like this in, where it's a lot of sourness to it, I think Fiji would be better because then the Fiji water, there's a lot of silica, it's a natural cream mineral in Fiji water in it. It's very smooth, so it balances out these acidic notes of that vinaigrette of the salad. Versus Gerolstein, on the other hand, because it's already so acidic, it will even be more acidic and your salad will be completely nuts. It will be like, oh my God, it's really not tasting well. So and we did this up. on the podcast several times already. I had a wine song here at the podcast and we tasted different wines and then we matched different waters to the wines to see if the wines are changing. And it was changing completely just that's based amazing. on the water you drink right next to it. So that's that a good crazy. point as far as <laughs> cooking. You know, if you're, say, boiling pasta or something like that, does that change the flavor and the essence of, you know, an entire dish just by cooking it in the water? Yes. Um, I'm working at Patina Restaurant. It's a, it's a high-end michelin star restaurant. Like, it's under the top 40 restaurants in the States. I just had an and... epiphany. Sorry. So that's what everybody talks about, New York pizza. Everybody always says, oh, it's the water, it's the water, it's the water. I was like, no. No, it has but a huge I... impact. Yes. Wow. Biggest, that just, like, water. literally clicked. When, you, when you're walking, when you're going to a, to a production person for beer, and you're asking them, so why is your beer so good? They will tell you, okay, because we're using very good water. Right away, it's water. It's everywhere. When yeah. do you think about even when this? I make coffee here, or I go to somebody else's house, and you know, I they use tap water. I use the water straight from my filter in the fridge, and I can taste mm -hmm. the difference because I drink oh, coffee sure black straight, and I can taste. There's a difference in the taste. I don't care what anybody else tells Absolutely me. Absolutely, you can taste the difference. So my executive chef Andreas Roller, he cooks carrots in Vichy water. Yeah, wait a minute. This is the water, what he cooks in. So Vichy wow. is a mineral water from Spain with a TDS of 3050. So it's even higher than Gerald Steiner. This water is super salty. And when you watch me on Conan O'Brien, this is the water what Conan spits out. He said, like, oh, Martin, you brought this from the Pacific Ocean or something. <laughs> that salty. That's awesome. So when you cook carrots in a regular water, they're getting slightly sweet. When you cook carrots in Vichy Catalan, they're getting suddenly this minerality feeling to it and they're tasting completely different. So he actually uses different waters by cooking vegetables and they have a different impact. Kind that of cool so, and fun. That yeah, is so that cool. is really like, cool. See, this, like, is what I, this is what I want to know now though because like the, the few times that I, that I actually crack and have a Coca-Cola, which you know, everyone's going to have one because you know, but when I'm eating pizza, like just pizza with regular water it's like it's not happening it just doesn't go together so i was gonna ask you <laughs> what do you recommend with red sauces like like when you're having pizza or like a pasta di dish with a you know with a red sauce so let, let's say a margarita, a margarita pizza so margarita pizza and i think like you should always think where the pizza is coming from it means like pizza is for me italian yeah That's napolitana some some probably saying it's new york Mm -hmm. When they think about pizza, there's always a debate where is actually pizza in Venice? Is it really actually New York or maybe Italy? I'm European, so I'm going with Italy right now. <laughs> and yeah. why not an Italian water, like a Pellegrino, for example, or Farrell, a great water, San Benedetto, a great water from Italy. 
So a little bit, I think it can have a water, especially by pizza, because it's a rich dish, a lot of aromas. I would love to see a water with a little higher mineral content. Pellegrino, for example, 1,200 TDS. Then a little bit of sparkling. I think it's a great cool thing because it's a very rich, the pasta. It's very heavy in your palate as well. And the sparkliness will clean and refresh your palate better than a still water. So that might be the reason why you like Coke as well, because there's carbonation to it. The carbonation. There's a little bit more sugar. There's something going on. So it, it fits better than just like tap water from the fridge. Yeah, at so this that's point in my point right there. At this point in my life, I mean, obviously when I was a kid and growing up, I drank tons of Coca-Cola, you know, but the older you get and once you stop drinking it as much because you don't want to get weight and all that, it's like, you know, you, you don't drink one for like a month or two and then you have one. It's like, oh my God, it's just like so, it's too sweet. It's caramel. It's really but, sweet at one point. And this is what I realized as well. My palate has changed over the years because I'm drinking now so much water on a daily basis that I cannot even drink regular Coke anymore. It's for me like way too sweet, way too mm -hmm. sweet. Sometimes a diet, and that's already like borderline for me. Taste profile. <laughs> my little dirty secret is actually I'm addicted to Red Bull. That's my little really? dirty secret. I'm the, the first time I'm saying this on, on like say to the media or to, to you guys. <laughs> to all a million fans. I'm actually addicted to Red Bull, but I'm drinking the sugar-free Red Bull. I don't really? drink the regular juice, and that's too sweet that. again for me. <laughs> but that's my only little drug, my little dirty secret. <laughs> that is we, amazing. we got the exclusive on that. You heard yes, it. Yes, correct. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. And oh my God, we're already like, so, uh, it's the signal. It's 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 time. No worries. Our, we still have our, a little time. No worries. We do. Oh man, don't say that. Go go, Shannon. Go. I <laughs> wanted to bring up. Um, you did something with Diplo and Two Chains. You uh, guys drink, it, which that video, it passed the 10 million uh, viewers mark. So congratulations to that. You guys drank a $100,000 bottle of water. Oh, there it is. Wow. wow. There's the $100,000 bottle. $100,000 bottle. Yep. What makes it worth $100,000? The diamonds right here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's pretty much it. So what so kind the same of water? water the same, it's actually a very, very good spring water here from California, 9H2O. Um, it does uh -huh. not come from Beverly Hills. All of them, <laughs> people are saying like Beverly Hills, 90210. Obviously, the company sits in Beverly Hills, but the water comes here from California, from the California mountains. Uh, you can buy the same water for $1.50 in a but regular it come with diamonds. In a PET bottle. I think I have it even here. It's all about the name. It's all about the brand. Come here on. We go. So this is the regular bottle of $1.59 H2O, <laughs> the, the lifestyle edition of, awesome. of Beverly's Night Edition. What actually looks very cool as well. I love that water. Ah. It's a very, very good water. It's very nice to drink. And then you have the diamond edition. And the this costs a lot of water. But what a lot of people, I think, missed in that, in that Diplo and Two Chains video is that when we open this and we discuss a little bit the taste profile, it's almost like sweet if you're drinking like a soda, but it's water. There's nothing, oh. nothing artificially added. It's a very unique mineral brand, what they have. And the interesting part is when you're buying for $100,000 this water, that means you're getting a whole suitcase, what I showed on the video as well. This whole suitcase uh -huh. with two bottles, one of the diamond, one of their uh, regular glass bottles, then a whole year supply of this water uh -huh. how much you want to drink and you can refill your diamond edition the whole time and i'm coming even over it doesn't matter where you live on this planet i'm flying over and i'm doing a private water tasting with you that's so that's the idea oh. <laughs> that would be amazing <laughs> who needs a lambo let's get this first yeah. and then Correct. You get a private Correct. Tasting but i have to say a lot of people always say like this is nuts hundred thousand dollars for water no way and even when i would have the money nobody would buy it now think about it Water, I think water should have value. Water is very important in our lives. Without water, we wouldn't be here. Right. And now you think you have $100,000 in a suitcase. You're in the middle of the desert. Since two days, you haven't drink any water. And there's a bottle of 9H2O. And on the other side, there's nothing. What are you going to do? You're paying. You're going to pay. Trust me, everybody will pay. Yes. yes. So at one point, it doesn't matter how expensive water is. You're gonna pay for it. It's funny that you bring that up because I just did a video for uh, my marketing, my digital marketing group, and I was telling, teaching them the value of like packaging and branding and all that stuff, you know. And I'm gonna make this short because I don't want to get into it. But the example that I use is if I went broke with the knowledge that I have right now, I live right by the beach. I'm close to the beach. 
I will literally go to Walmart, buy a pack of the cheapest water they got, 24 pack or whatever, for three dollars. I think it was three dollars and 24 cents for the whole pack, a 24 pack. And I will mm-hmm. go straight to the beach on the and hopefully it's really hot that day. And I will sell each bottle of water for three to three or four bucks. And people's like, people are not gonna pay that. Oh um, yeah, when it's hot, it. they'll pay. It. <laughs> I was like, it's 100%. okay, it's right here. You know it's yes. cheaper in Walmart, but I have it right here. You're gonna get in your car and go all the way to Walmart. That's like three miles Correct. away to get water. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Convenience. No, no, That's absolutely. Everybody will pay for it. Yes. So um, I've heard, I've watched your podcast, and I. Uh, I found something really interesting because we just started this ourselves. You know, we're still, everything's new. Um, I heard you say, fuck the haters. We've had a couple, you know, and I love that. I can just imagine how many weird comments you've gotten. You know, how many people think he, he's doing what now? He's getting paid to do what? Drink water? He's yeah, yeah. Phone calls even. People what? tracked me down with my, not my cell phone, but the restaurant phone and 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 harassed me on the restaurant phone and everything. It's like, it's okay. It's yeah. like for me, it is like yeah. what what Tom Segura and Christina Paskevsky are always saying, fuck the haters. And I, totally agree <laughs> I with love that. that. And you and you should relax to it as well. And I'm always saying when people still think water does not have taste, they clearly don't drink enough water. Exactly. So for yeah. them, for me as a person who loves to drink water, and we should all honor water, that's my biggest important thing always, why I want to do this. Because I want to showcase that water is way more than just a boring beverage. Water has so if many you've different done a, If you've done a fantastic job at it, and that's why you've reached, that's where you're, why you're at, where you're at right now, where you're just yeah. like blowing up, man. And, and, and I admire that. That's amazing to me. And it's a lot of fun and it's cool and it's great. And I love the comments when people are saying to me like, hey, Martin, the what you changed my whole life. I just been to Christina Pasevsky's uh, live show here in Pasadena last week. And I went over there and people recognized me. And I, that was the first time for me, like sometimes people <laughs> recognize me on the streets, but not so many. But obviously I've been twice on Your Mom's House podcast. They want nuts on me. <laughs> and they took all pictures and everybody was like, oh my God. And some people really came up to me and said, hey, do you know what, Martin, you changed my life. I feel so much better. I'm drinking now so much water. Uh, do you know what? Thank you so much. And that's for me, like the best thing you can do actually on this planet. Oh, that's amazing. That's yeah. like... That's like the coolest thing you can achieve. I, uh, my strong belief is be a good person, help each other out, and create new life. Exactly. That's pretty much why we're here on this planet. Shannon, does that sound like anyone you know? This, this, is my, my, this is what I preach to people. Find your passion and just go do it, and the money will come, man. As long as you share your Correct. message and you're passionate about it and you're good yeah. at it, the money will come on its own. Yeah, yeah. And People you know, don't get that. What you're doing is so unique, you know, and like you said, water is – the essence of life. You know, we need water to live. We've got the wine sommeliers, the beer, you know, cheese experts. So why not promote water, you know, something healthy, Correct. you know, yeah. that everybody needs to live. Right. And that's a cool thing as well. Everybody, nobody's allergic to water, because then they wouldn't be here anymore. Sure. And and we're talking about a demographic from zero till 100 years old, or even longer, because some people are getting 110, 120. <laughs> Everybody drinks water. And that's a beautiful thing about my position now as a water sommelier. You can talk to everybody, and everybody has his own water story. And that's a cool thing, and I love always to hear this. And we're doing this on our podcast as well. I'm always saying to people like, hey, send me an email, or reach out to me on via Instagram and Facebook, and all this kind of stuff. Ask me questions, and we will discuss it then at the podcast. But so that's all what it's supposed to be. Podcast is an engagement for me. Yeah. I want the yeah. people talking about it. And I want that that we are like checking ourselves out to see how can we help you and how we can help me. And that's the reason we're doing this conversation here as well, because we are both or we are all three eager to learn more yeah. from each other. And that's yeah. a cool thing. I wish we could have done it live because I'm sure there'll be like all these questions coming in, but technical yeah. difficulties from the Facebook end. But, you know, at least we got to do it for sure. Uh, and, so uh, I want pe- people to know um, where they can find your podcast it's h2 no and you're on youtube so correct so it's, it's called planet water it's the main planet water the h to no podcast it's on youtube as a video then it's on itunes it's on uh podbean and it's on google play so when you and you don't find it maybe just google planet water podcast trust me it will blow up then right away on your facebook page um Obviously, you can follow me on Facebook, Martin Riese Water Sommelier. You can follow me on Instagram, it's Martin Riese. And just Google Water Sommelier and I will pop up as well. 
Yeah, I'll po I'll post all the links uh, on on the you know on the post on the video and all that stuff, so everybody can find you and everybody can follow you and, and see everything that you do. Two of um, your biggest fans' dreams come true today. I yes, just know. thank you yeah, so that's much. Great. Man. No, no, I'm I'm always trying to help. I appreciate that's it. That's the most so, important thing. The important question is: so where do you go from here? I mean, you're you're already reaching that point where <laughs> you're making the the high rounds. Like, what's the plan? I mean, obviously, you know, you you want to build an empire. I'm assuming so. I gotta ask, man. The entrepreneur in me, I can't let for this me, one go. For I have me, to it's ask. really the more people I'm engaging to, and the more people will learn about the benefits of water, the better it is for the society in general. That's for right. me the most important thing. Obviously, right. I did now a lot of TV. Now I did the podcast. Now I'm doing my own podcast. This is my new project, obviously for 2018. I'm just in my seventh episode right now, so this is something new for me. Um, I'm very eager to do this. I'm going to China again in in June. I have to be there for a big water tasting competition. This will be a lot of fun. And yeah, we're talking a little bit to some TV production teams that might be thinking about a show surrounding water, like the Anthony Bourdain of waters that I'm traveling around the world and finding the most unique springs ever found it. Oh, and man, can, I be your intern? can I just be your intern tag along? That'll be amazing. That, is, that will yeah. be like the dream. My little right water there. sidekick. Yeah, man, I'll be the water Free. sidekick. <laughs> Free labor, I'm there. <laughs> well, you know what? I just remembered something, that, and I heard you mention this. I think it was in, in uh, Tom and Christina's podcast. Um, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. You mentioned a store in Fort Lauderdale, but I didn't catch it. Um, yes. That they sell all kinds of water and stuff like that. What yeah, was correct. The name of Aqua Maestro. What is it? Aqua, uh, Aqua Maestro. Okay. Aqua Maestro in Fort Lauderdale. They are okay. the, the only big, or they're actually the biggest suppliers for very specialty waters in the States. His oh, name really? is Brett Spitani. He's the, he's the founder and owner of it. I'm working very closely with him together. He's a great guy. And I will, I will send you a link to the, that you know exactly what it is. And yeah, I'm getting yeah. the Vichy, for example, from, I'm getting Iskilde from that, what I had at Tom Segura and, and Christina's show as well. So he has a very, very cool selection, over 30 different mineral waters from around the world. And when you want to be very exciting, just go there on their homepage and you can buy some really, really cool and unique waters. That's so cool, man. I'll go in person. It's right down the road from me, hopefully. So I'll just go over there myself and check it That's out. That's great. But... Yeah, let them know that we, that we talked. You will I will. I definitely will. I'll, I'll drop names left and right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Martin, I know, I know we had you a lot longer than, than we, we had planned, and we had some technical difficulties getting this going on, and I apologize no for that. But, I mean... Seriously, thank you. Thank you so much yeah, for doing this with us. Amazing. And uh, if you ever need anything, reach out and anything we can do. <laughs> you know, thank let you us so much. Know. Thank you. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again. <laughs> so. And the most important thing is for everybody, guys, has stay thirsty. Yeah. Stay thirsty. Water. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. See you guys later.